everyone wants to see big fish coming back here. We're really trying to get as many B-run steelhead back to uh, the snake. You know, once we have an adult alive, keeping them alive to spawn again is, is easier than starting with eggs. Steelhead are uh, repeat spawners. They're rainbow trout. They're just anadromous rainbow trout. They'll go to the ocean, return back from the ocean, spawn, and then they start moving back downstream. And, and that life history stage is called a kelp. And we have these fish with wild genetics, large numbers of them, migrating downriver uh, after spawning. Uh, but very few of them coming back to spawn a second time. Overall, we see uh, less than 2%. This particular work at Dorshak uh, Hatchery is, is part of a larger project uh, that the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission has been uh, conducting. Uh, then when we signed the Accords Agreement, the Columbia Basin Accords Agreement with Bonneville Power and the other federal partners, we uh, expanded our kelp program from being in Yakima to, to the Snake River, the Nez Perce tribe is, this is their homeland, and so it's a logical partnership. And there have been uh, problems that needed to be solved. Uh, first, you know, where do we collect the fish? Uh, what do we need to do to treat the fish for uh, common uh, diseases and parasites that they have? Uh, what do we feed them? They're in really poor health at that time. They haven't eaten for months and months, almost a year. And so it takes a little bit of doing to get them interested in, in uh, feeding again. And so we have to present um, uh, very tasty uh, meals pretty much in front of them. And we've struck upon a combination of, of improved diet. Uh, we get them on a starter food of creel. We then transition the fish to a pellet diet, a broodstock pellet diet, and they start uh, regenerating their their uh, bodies and, and eggs. Today we're going to be crowding up uh, one of our tanks. We've got uh, just under 60 fish. We're going to um, net them up, move them into a transport tank, and take them from this facility about an hour and a half downriver to just below Lower Granite Dam and release them. Each one of these fish has a pit tag in them so we can monitor which direction they go, upstream or downstream. We're hoping to get a, a lot of detections moving upstream. So we, we just recently published a paper on the uh, reconditioning program in Yakima and we had about 10 years worth of data that uh, showed the long-term survival was about 40 percent. You know, it, it takes a long time to, to get the projects going and and go through all of the processes and then to see that you get uh, some, some real nice measurable results out of it with these uh, beautiful fish. It's a great thing.